Hi, and welcome to Cards TV. Can you please introduce yourself and tell me a bit about your work at Alaric? My name is Tosif Ahmed. I'm the uh, director for Alaric in the Middle East and North Africa. Uh, I've been in the payment industry for the last 25 years, so all in the Middle East. Um, I've just started with Alaric in early this year, in, Jan in January. And um, basically, we're trying to set up our operation here and uh, expand into the in, into the region. There's this very exciting time for us as well. Uh, I've been um, working uh, uh, in the Middle East uh, with, with financial services and uh, establishing. Most of the banks have been have been my customers. So today, what you see in the banking world in Middle East, uh, in one way or the other, I've been associated with them. So anything to do with ATM, point of sale e-commerce, fraud management, um, uh, has been my forte. Great. And I mean, obviously for you, you've had a lot of experience in the region, but um, why for a large of the company? I mean, why the Middle East? Why now? Well, as I said, it's very exciting times. What's traditionally has happened is banks have um, uh, relied mostly on traditional systems, and they were, a lot, what Alaric brings is a very modern architecture, modern way of doing payment solutions. Now, there are three as, as you know, banking is becoming very saturated here. There are many, many, many banks, and um, consumers are so much, so, so many, so much limited. Um, and what what the challenges of the banks are today is to bring new products and new services on a very timely manner. That excites the consumer. And 50% of the of the population of Middle East is teenagers. They are they, from from well, from age of 18 to 24. So these guys are, you know, all out. And on everything on iPad, everything on mobile phone. So the banks have to really bring new exciting products to attract them. What Alaric bring, uh, brings them that that type of technology, where we enable banks to bring technologies to the consumer on a very timely manner and a fast level. Well, what traditional systems have today is that it takes banks months to bring anything new in terms of features and new in terms of functionality. So time to market is very key. And that's why um, with Alaric, we see a tremendous opportunity in here where customers want demand for new, for new application, demand new services. And um, that's why I said it's very, very exciting for Alaric to be, to be in the Middle East. Oh, definitely. And I mean, obviously, kind of globally, you have quite a, a good reputation in terms of the whole prevention and security. I mean, it's one of the challenges we have here in the region. So, I mean, can you tell us a bit about, you know, what you would view the market at in that state at the moment here and how you well, fraud moves to the weakest link. I mean, we have seen in, in Europe um, until Euro European banks adopted a, uh, EMV, which is the smart, you know, the chip, yeah. And today, most of the fraud comes from America and, and South South America, where we're still on magnetic stripe. Um, Middle Eastern customers travel a lot to the U.S. and vice versa. There's a lot of traffic, so we in the recent times we have seen banks get exposed to those, those, those sort of fraud. And where, again, uh, our technology uh, enables banks to really catch these fraud or trends in a very quickly and a faster way. So they can advise the, the, their, the, the banks to protect their consumers um, uh, on a timely fashion. Plus, you don't want to uh, stop transactions which are, which are genuine transactions. So a, a person is trying to, a friend of mine, I know he was buying a Ferrari, in, in, in Europe with his credit card and got rejected. So you don't want to do that. You know, you want to let the legitimate transactions pass through. Now our, our solutions allow you to do that, enables you to do that to distinguish who are, who are really legitimate who are, and who are not. So it's again, a, as I said, it's a very exciting times. Um, we, we, our technology is very modern, uh, very flexible. It, it is, empowers the banks and their consumers to, to set their own risk parameters. Right? And it is faster to deploy. So, uh, and I know there are other technologies available in the market, but we believe we are ahead of the trend. Definitely. I mean, obviously, one thing I'd really like to know is if you could sum up the future of payments, and I'm going to change it a bit for you, the future of payments in the Middle East yeah. in the next few years, how would you do it? I, I, would, I would say that it all converges to your mobile phone, as you know, it, anything. Everything and anything would be on your mobile phone. All your credit cards, 
all your, I mean, it's like gaming today. It's like, you know, the, it's like everything on your, the whole life spans on your iPad or on, 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 on your mobile phone. So the converging of all your payments would be on, on, on your handheld. And that's where, uh, I mean, you, 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 you tend to forget your ID, but you never forget your mobile phone. Yeah, and that's where the industry is moving towards. And, and again, it's, it's the next Y generation who's demanding that. You know, it, it, has, it has to go that way, yeah. That's great. Well, thank you so much for your time today. And we'll look forward to hearing more about you in the sure. next year. Sure, sure. Thank, thank you. you.